All right, guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at what free words and we're going to be building a basic express API. Now, the first thing I'm doing is importing the what free words API then I'm importing express and then I'm configuring and importing .env. And then I'm setting up the what free words API with my API key, which comes from my .env file. And then I'm setting up express, then I'm defining the route and then I'm setting the header to JSON. And then I'm getting the data from the what free words API. And then I'm showing the data and I'm sending that with a 200 status code, which means success. If we fail, then we'll send a 400 error code with the actual error. Now, this here is definitely a section which you could go ahead and make a bit better. First of all, you don't directly want to show the error. And second of all, if you ran out of credits, it would still be a 400 and not a internal server error. So this is definitely a section that you could go ahead and make a bit better. And then I'm starting the server and yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. So if we put in our latitude and our longitude and press enter, and then we get our data. So you can see we get the country and we get some latitudes here and longitudes and then we get the nearest place which is an address then we get coordinates and then we also get the what free words which is what we wanted and the language and then a link to the map. You can of course also convert it the other way around so you would go ahead and maybe put in this here. You could do that as well. However, you would of course have to rewrite the application. All you would need to change is this function and I will leave a link down below to the documentation. And of course you would need to change this up here as well to only include one thing. So uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully see you in the next one.